morning. Welcome to another Sunday morning session. And today what I've got for you is a word and a verse. So the word is faith. So it's having faith in God. And the verse is from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And uh, why don't you get your, uh, get some paper yourself and write out the word and colour it in. Um, you might want to write, draw some pictures around the story that we're going to talk about. Uh, some words to remind you of the story as well. So first of all, let's look at this verse and let's see what it says. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. And the story that uh, I want to read to you today is from Genesis chapter 22. Sign of verse 1. So this is about a guy called Abraham and his son Isaac. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moher. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain, and I will show you. We're going to jump down to verse 9, where it says, when they reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there in a thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. Now, can't imagine what was going through Abraham's mind when God asked him to do this. Um, I'm sure he was uh, he was praying for an alternative. I'm sure he wouldn't didn't want to really go and sacrifice his own son, but he wanted to be faithful to God and show God that he was faithful to him, and that uh, if God had asked this, then God must must know what he's what he's saying, what he's doing. So I've got. A, be faithful and uh, and carry this out. Well, let's look in this uh, back in this verse in Hebrews again. It says, "Now faith is being sure of what we hope for." And I'm sure that Abraham will want an alternative sacrifice and not to sacrifice his son, but he faithfully went ahead with the plan. The second part of the verse says, "And certain of what we do not see." And I think that for me, thinking of the story of Abraham, is that God didn't give Abraham the full picture. Um, he didn't say to Abraham at the beginning, I want you to go and sacrifice your son, but when you get there, I'm going to provide a ram instead. I think what he wanted to do is what he wanted to see Abraham putting his faith in God and, uh, and following, following God's plan. And uh, in doing that, God provided an alternative. Now, in our lives, I don't think um, God is going to ask us to do something as extreme as that. But I think we can look at these verses again for ourselves and look and think, now faith is being sure of what we hope for. Some of the things that we hope for in our lives, um, I'm, I'm sure that we hope that we have a, a good life that uh, we uh, enjoy our life, um, that God provides for us in our lives. And by finding out what these things are, what God's plan for us in our life is, we've got to push into God. And, uh, and that's done through prayer, Bible reading, chatting with Christian friends. And, um, and then God starts to sort of ask us to do things. We might get thoughts in our head, we might read a verse that triggers off um, a thought or an action that we think we feel that God is leading us into. 
And the second part, it says a certain of what we do not see. Because I think that God starts us off on a journey, but doesn't always tell us what the end of the journey is. Because I think that uh, God wants us to grow in our faith and to uh, have faith in him. So uh, we may start off with uh, with something we kind of think was oh, too big for us, it's too overwhelming, might not be as extreme as what he was asking Abraham to do, but still um, it could be a big deal for us. And God wants us just to put our faith in him and uh, and be certain that as we uh, as we step out on that journey whatever it is then god will be there with us and god will provide so i want to encourage you to uh, write out the words uh read around that story in genesis it's from genesis chapter 22 and um pray about your life ask god Ask God, what is what is the plan for my life? What, uh, what things do you want me to do, Lord? What journey do you want to set me off on? Okay, so, see you in a week. Goodbye.